What's going on guys? Welcome back to Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman, aka the Crypto Hitman. Welcome to today's Oatmeal Update. Oatmeal is getting a little hard. I had to restart my computer so it's a little cold. Not so tasty. Nonetheless, if you want 24-7 access to myself and Todd Butterfield to get access to this private Discord with all these separate channels and this great community, join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto. Let's jump right into this update. We can see all of our previous Bitcoin trades. We said live that this is a critical line of support. We had a stop for a 1% gainer even before the support worst case scenario we thought we could get stopped out maybe by here this was a catastrophic event now in the video i drew this line all the way back then saying we'll see a relief rally and then we'll meander and we'll have to make a critical decision based off of various factors on whether bitcoin is going to going to hold these lows or we're going to see another dump to the twenty three thousand dollar level now what I will say is we have had this nice relief rally. That's great and awesome. And we do see a bullish cross down here on the RSI. The RSI is having a bullish cross with this MA down here on the on the RSI. That increases the probability of holding these previous lows at the 24,700 level. And again, Elliott Wave thinks we could have had a potential ABC completion here or whenever this meander happens. And that will lead to the next rally towards $35,000. So this is a great sign down here for probability. If we can see more volume come in, as well as a moving average bullish cross here where the blue will rotate and go above this white, and then both of them go above this yellow, that will also solidify a higher probability of holding these previous lows. The other factor will be tonight, I will make another video about the futures. What are the futures going to look like for stocks? If stocks get beat up for another two, three, four days, it's going to be very hard for Bitcoin to maintain and hold these levels. So stay, stay tuned and we'll keep you up to date um, as much as we can on what Bitcoin is going on here. Again, worst case scenario in my opinion is 23,000, we get a C wave and then we make a nice bullish action move. Now I wanted to talk about another project. This project is called... Chatter Shield Bot. They have rated my uh, tweets a couple of times. Very good interactions. A couple of them have followed with me. And this is a project that just launched a few days ago, I believe. We'll look at the, the coin. Maybe it was last month. Low follower count, low market capitalization, but they seem to be having a project, a product that projects are, are using. Essentially, you can set up tasks in which uh, incentivizes people to raid various posts, retweet, whatever, to earn some of their shield tokens. And it works with various projects. Let's hop over to CoinGecko. Chatter Shield is down 17% today, like a lot of other things, at $1.29. But the to max supply is only 1 million tokens. So right now, the market capitalization is probably something like 1.29 million. Still super small. And you can see it did launch on CoinGecko on August 2nd. So less than a month old. Decent trajectory, all-time low of $0.37, cents, all-time high of $2. This is a very much a micro-cap play, and this isn't a buy recommendation here. This is my first time kind of looking at it just based off the, obviously the product is working because they rated some of my tweets, and seeing follows come in from their community means, means they are a real and active community. Their website looks pretty decent. Introducing Chattershield, the ultimate rating bot. Total supply of $1 million. Why choose Chattershield? It's fast, efficient, and user-friendly, ensuring your tweet reaches the desired likes quickly. Join influencers, brands, and individuals who have experienced the power of Chatter Shield. The Shield token lets you create bounties on tweets using the bounty command, encouraging audience interaction and rewarding community participation. It can also supercharge other projects through continuous buyback and burn mechanisms. And they have a minute 19 video we won't watch. And uh, a little bit more information. So I think I need to dig a little deeper. Obviously, everybody on Twitter, all the projects on Twitter, want more interactions on their tweets. Because the way the algo works, if you get more people retweeting, liking, and commenting, then more people will see it. It'll pop up on more news feeds. So I think this is a decent service. Now I need to test the product. And then I can dig deeper into whether the shield token is worth actually investing in and holding in if the token economics makes sense. So there's two very different things. The product might work, but the token might not have good token utility. So we'll, we'll dig into this again. If more shield community members keep rating my tweets, keep following me, whatever, it's going to force my hand. And maybe this becomes a, a buy in our portfolio down the line. The last thing that I did like to see is some of these partnerships. Obviously, X is a new meme token, and we all know about Mong and the power of Mong. So maybe I need to contact some of the Mong 
high level community members and team members to see how they like this Chatter Shield product. And then lastly, I want to touch base on goalpulse.com, Pulse Chain, Pulse Sax, INC, and Hex. We do know Richard Hart had like a cease and desist from the SEC. I think he's going to win that case. He created Hex not to be security, and he raised raised funds for charity, sacrifice of funds with PLS, PLSX, and INC. Again, not to be a security. He's very smart, very well spoken. If he goes in front of court, I think he will win, and all these things will pump. But in the meantime, with prices so low, what is the benefit of the token economics? Well, there's a buyback and burn function for PLSX for every trade that occurs on this Pulse Dex, right? On the PulseX.com decentralized exchange. But with the price so low, it is buying back and burning an extraordinary amount of PLS tokens. Yesterday alone, it burned 2 billion tokens. The total supply is 21 trillion. Already 368 billion PLSX tokens have been burnt, which is 1.77% of the total supply, excluding the OA wallet. Pretty impressive. We're also seeing some other DeFi products being built around this ecosystem, which is now burning INC. 38,000 INC has been burned, which is 4.438% of that INC token. Overall, I think the token economics that Richard Hart built into these functions are getting supercharged by the low prices that the SEC um, has really made people capitulate into. And in the end, I think Richard Hart is going to win that case. Hex is going to explode because of it. Because of it. PLS, PLSX, and INC will return back to the median around the sacrifice price, which is about a 2x for PLS, a 6x for PLSX. And then we'll see the growth leading in the next bull run. Once Richard Hart is clear of the SEC charges, he can then focus on promoting, retweeting, and getting more people onboarded into the Pulse chain ecosystem. That's really all I got for this oatmeal update this morning. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. The things that I talk about in these is really driven by you, the community. What do you want to hear? Let me know. What, what does the price action look like for Bitcoin in your mind? So if you want like daily updates on both crypto and stock, technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and news, follow us, guys. Join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto. And that's all I got. Big video coming out tonight once we see what the stock futures look like. And I will see you later.